Okay, so track one is with Joe Wright and Ellen Hidriff. They're both uh, Welsh musicians. I know both of them from Music College, and they were both on my first album as well. It's a um, it's a saxophone and harp piece because I know them both, and because they're together as well, they're uh, they're married. Uh, I thought it would be fun. It seemed like uh, an obvious thing to do, and I like the idea of working with uh, musicians who are right there and the things that you have available, you know. And because they're both both friends, and I just thought, well, why not the saxophone and harp piece? And uh, and that's how that happened. Um, and the composition of it was, uh, I was in, I was at a competition in, uh, well, uh, my wife was accompanying some musicians at a competition in uh, Romania, in uh, Turgu Moresh. And I was looking after, I think I was looking after my son and really getting quite bored and wondering what to do and the uh, the ideas just sort of the motifs and stuff just came 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 to me and I was then sort of trying to kind of keep them logged for for later and I can remember that's how I wrote this one so I sent this one off because uh, I know Joe does electronic stuff I know he what he he says on his uh, he says on his website that he does tech stuff and because I can remember doing like the technology module with him at music college and stuff, I kind of suspected that the the audio quality would be quite good. Considering I think they recorded it in the pandemic, so it was lockdown circumstances. Just like in, I think it was just at their home. I guess it was just at their home. And uh, considering with that all in mind, it sounds really good to my mind. I was really worried about how the ba- the, the instruments would balance, but that came across really, really, really well. There's a thing about the harp sounding transparent, especially with the, the, those kind of low glisses. But then there's a thing about whether it's supposed to be muddy. Uh, with, and I think I was, it been, I was sort of happy with that muddy sound. It's, uh, it's kind of partly what the sound actually is. And I don't think it's made worse by the recording, if that makes sense. I, although that's something I sort of dwelled on a bit. So We Deliver is uh, the titles from the book uh, of the film... Uh, the book Drive, which inspired the film with uh, the with what's your name Ryan Gosling, um, and it's this uh, absolutely incredible neo noir book, very very sinister, kind of wild, really really fun, and uh, I really enjoyed the book. And uh, there's this book. One of the characters in it is this like um, this mobster guy, and he has a pizza place. And in some of the more sinister places, I think it's after he after he kills someone or whatever, or whatever, he leaves all these leaflets with these pizza leaflets with "We Deliver" on them, kind of pointedly, and they've got like "We Deliver" written on the pe- on the pizza uh, uh, leaflets. And it's a really nice, it's a it's a really good book in terms of the backstory stuff is really fun in the book as well. There's an amazing chapter in the book which really strikes a chord with me, and it's about the so the the protagonist who's this kind of he's a driver for hire kind of. Uh, person and the protagonist um he has these flashbacks and he has a flashback about uh with him as a child and he's with his mother and his mo- this mother gets this uh flat pack furniture and she's put puts this flat pack furniture together and this is one one chapter in the book and she starts off really excited about it and she kind of and as she puts it together and puts it together puts it together and then at the end of the chapter she's like it's just it's just rubbish like it's it's totally not how it appears on the package and it's a really it's a really interesting really sensitive gooey little storyline bit and it's quite i just think it's amazing to find something like that in a book that is essentially it's like yeah neo-noir kind of gangster book it's a really nice sort of gooey middle bit (laughs) 